In this video, we're going to see how to set up tire fees in Manage Online. Some areas have a simple charge per tire, while others have fees that vary by tire rim size. Contact your local regulatory agency to determine the requirements for your area. We set up these fees on the Tire Settings page. We'll click Setup, then Tire Settings. To set up tire fees, we need to do two things. We need to create a tire extra for the fee, then create a matrix. We'll start with the tire extra. I'll enter a code and a description. The code and description can be anything you want. If you charge a single fee for all tires sold, enter the appropriate amounts in the cost and sell fields. If your fees are variable, the cost and selling price should be left blank. Select the appropriate sales class code for your fees. Select the appropriate product tax type. In some areas, these fees are taxed, and in others, they are not. Again, contact a tax professional or your local regulatory agency to determine the proper setting. For the purposes of this video, I'll select this one. I'm going to check this box which will cause the fee to be added to all tire sales. Checking the compulsory box will make it so the fee cannot be removed from the tire sales. These two choices are optional. For non-variable fees, leave this box unchecked. However, to make this item work with the fee matrix below, this box must be checked. I'll click Add. If a tire extra is flagged as a fee, it will apply the matrix. So if you already created fees for tire disposal, you can edit it and flag it as a fee and the matrix will override any prices that are on that item. You now only need one tire extra for your fees because after we complete the matrix, Manage Online will calculate the appropriate fee to apply. Since the process is now automated, you should delete any additional fees you have created. The next step in the process is to build the fee matrix. We'll create several different lines, then look at how they are applied. First, I'll enter the description, which can also be anything you want. Just note that this description will print on your customer's documents. For the first range, you can leave the rim size from field blank or enter a minimum size as appropriate. Then enter the rim size two for this range. For this example, I'll enter 15. Next, I'll enter the fee amount and select whether it is a dollar amount or a percentage of the sale price. If I charge a percentage of the sale price, but there is a maximum fee amount I'm allowed to charge, I would check this box and enter the amount in this field. We'll create one of those in a minute. To save this fee, click Add. OK, let's create a few more. I'll enter a different description. For this line, the rim size from field is required and it cannot overlap the previous range. So I'll enter 15.1, then a two limit for this range. I'll set this range to 2% of the sale price. We'll create one more and this time we'll put a maximum fee amount on it. I'll cap this range at $3.99. Now, let's go see how these fees are applied to a tire sale. We'll go back to the work screen and click Add Job, then Tire Sales. If you order your tires electronically from the ATD catalog in Manage Online, the fees will be applied in much the same way as what we're about to see. I'm going to search by part number to bring in some tires I've created just for demonstration purposes. Normally, you wouldn't search for multiple tire sizes, but this will make it easier to see the different fees being applied. This area is where we can see which tire extras are being applied to this job. I'm able to choose whether or not to include these first two by checking and unchecking these boxes. 
I'm not able to deselect the fee because if you remember, we checked the compulsory box when we created the tire extra fee. First, if I choose the 15 inch tire, you can see in this area that the fee of $1 has been applied, which is 1% of the selling price of $100. When I select the 16 inch tire, you can see the fee is now $2 or 2% of the $100 selling price. To demonstrate how the cap works, I'll select the 17 inch tire, which has a selling price of $200. The fee for this size tire is set at 3%, which would be $6. But because we put a cap of $3.99, that is what will be applied, and it won't go above the cap. In this video, we saw how to create tire extras, designate them as fees, and created a tire fee matrix. Be sure to watch the companion videos to this one, customizing tire settings and adding tires to a work document.